Hey everybody, how's it going? So as you can see here, Blackberry and I have a slightly strained relationship. Blackberry the kitten loves to sleep on either my neck, my chest, or my shoulder. She always, as soon as I get to go to bed, I go, Blackberry, she runs over to me and she sits on my chest or my shoulder. But she's a very, very high-strung, anxious kitten. If she hears something outside or even the smallest shift in noise in the apartment, she'll go, Phew and jump as fast as she can with her claws out, which is why I usually keep my blanket all the way up to my chin so that if she does it around here, because she's done it before near the tit and ow, or in the neck, ow, but I don't keep the blanket over my face because that's an uncomfortable way to sleep. But she did manage to jump over my face and there's, yeah, there's like this over here, this over here, ow. I love Blackberry. I've had her for 10 years. She's an adorable, cute, and kind kitten. 99% of the time. But if anybody has advice as to what I could do to help with this so that she doesn't do that again or a way to calm her or train her not to do that, that would be great. I have, I, I like keeping my eyesight. And I was this close this morning to believing that I didn't have eyesight. I was like opening my right eye really slowly because I was nervous that I was going to realize I couldn't see out of it. Luckily, I can. And uh, she's, I, I have an apartment that's essentially one room. It's one large room, but it's one room, so I can't close the door to keep her from coming into the bedroom. I really don't want to get rid of her because I love her. She's a very advertiser-friendly kitty most of the time, but she's not slashing the, um, the, the channel influencer in the face. And I don't believe in declawing. I think it's an inhumane thing to do. So any suggestions you have, if you've had this type of problem with cats before, I'd love to see you include it down below. Now, the main topic of the video. It's, gonna, it's New Year's Eve today. Tomorrow's going to be New Year's Day. It's the holidays. For many people, this is the best time of year. However, for another number of people, it's also the worst time of year because it's the time of the year that they get reminded that everybody else is friends and family, and they don't. And the thing that you could do to make people feel even the teeny tiniest bit better is if you know or you have an inclination that somebody's going to be spending the holiday alone, they don't have any family or friends to talk to, invite them into whatever you're doing, whether you're going out bowling, you're going out drinking, you're going out for a walk in the park, you're going to go to the gym, or maybe you're just going to sit around and fix MacBooks. Find a way to just invite them over, give them an opportunity to feel included so that they don't have to spend the holiday alone and miserable because there are a lot of people out there that spend the holidays by themselves and if you see everybody else having fun and you see the commercials and you see the people in Times Square running around, yay, happy, going to restaurants, enjoying it with their friends, and you're not. That is the type of misery and resentment that just, it, 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 it broods and broods and spreads, and it just makes society a crappier place to be in. And it takes a really small amount of effort to find someone that you know and everybody around us knows, at least one person, that's probably going to be spending the holidays alone, and say, hey, you want to come over? Or do you want to do this? You want to go bowling? You want to hang out? You want to ride bikes? Anything... That would distract that person from knowing that they're likely spending New Year's or New Year's Eve by themselves. I think if more people did this, it would be a little bit better. I'm a very lucky person at this point in my life because I don't have to spend the holidays alone. But there were times where I did, and it wasn't very fun. So that's it for today. As always, I hope you learned something. And regardless of how advertiser-friendly your kitty looks, be careful before you let them sleep on your face. Just saying. Have a good New Year. Happy Holidays. See you in the next video.